there were a military failed inventions hall of fame, there would surely be a place of honor for the nuclear rifle developed in the Cold War 60s, the N65. Yes, you heard correctly. This is a nuclear rifle. This is a M65 155 millimeter recoilless rifle with a 0.01 kiloton nuclear warhead on the end of it. The recoilless rifle works from the rear. You load it back here. It fires a projectile up through, launching the nuclear warhead uh, up to three miles. This giant rifle promised to make Armageddon easy and portable. Nicknamed the Davy Crockett, it could take down more than bears. It could take out the entire forest, and then some. Its 51-pound nuclear payload was two to four times more powerful than the ammonium nitrate bomb that destroyed the Oklahoma City Federal Building in 1995. It's either uh, hand-carried on foot or by a jeep. It was tested in 1962. Uh, just so happens that Robert F. Kennedy was uh, in attendance at the time. The Davy Crockett was hampered by one nagging flaw that may have just prevented the proliferation of portable nukes. Its maximum firing range of about three miles meant it couldn't fire its payload beyond the radius of the resulting nuclear fallout. When the weapon is detonated, it creates a cloud. If the wind is blowing toward the crew, the crew becomes irradiated from that radioactive cloud. The crew, um, to use the medieval expression, was hoist on their own petard. They were within the blast radius of the nuclear warhead, and they were going to get radiation from that. So, uh, a desperation weapon at best.